Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Soul Striker, and today is a little bit of a different video. It has to do with uh, like admin server tutorials. So, uh, if you don't like that sort of thing, you can obviously click out of the video. But I just wanted to let you guys know uh, that's what I'm doing today, and let's get right into it. Alright, here we are on Minecraft Hosting.pro, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use their live map option. It's a brand new addition that Minecraft Hosting.pro just came out with, and it is absolutely amazing. So here's a little demo of what it looks like. Basically, it's like a 3D Google Earth of uh, your server. It's sort of like the plugin Dynamap, but I think it's a little bit better and of how it looks and everything I definitely recommend this for like some sort of SMP or townie server and maybe even prison server but probably not for like factions because like you can see players bases and whatnot but this is what it looks like and let's just look at this guys it's absolutely amazing like you can see like 3d like look at this like it looks so good I'm not even kidding guys you can see all the cool features and uh, this is like a demo so this IP won't work of course but uh, you can see like the players online and everything and the IP for the server but as you see this is a demo one so the IP won't work but you can look at all these builds they look so cool it's totally like a Google Earth for your Minecraft server which is absolutely amazing and so I'll show you guys how to do all this and set it up it does cost five extra dollars so as you see uh, if you come over here when you purchase your server you have to do this before you buy your server so you have to do it when you set it up so I'm gonna select North America and then we'll just do like the testing uh, youtube.mcprosting.pro uh, all right and then we'll do it for one month and then you select this live map viewer there's other options that they have uh, so you can get like a custom domain a dedicated support which does cost an extra five dollars uh, as well so you can have like the staff team uh, help fix up your server and then you can have like premium hardware to run uh, your server even better so I'm just going to select the live map viewer and then you're going to go ahead and click order oops uh, server name to that and then we'll go ahead and place the order after you purchase your server you're going to go ahead and hit the maintenance tab on the far right so after you do this you're going to go ahead and click your live map viewer and then this is where everything is set up so when you do this uh, click this if you want to uh, use the server query to display connected players if you want to show your players on your live map uh, then you can go ahead and do that if you don't then you don't have to but there you go you can go ahead and set the day night cave I'm going to leave it today and then we're going to do just the normal world and then you can set your name uh, I'm going to call it uh, test well we'll call it test you can add it whatever so you go ahead and click add viewer and then let the config load for that after you have generated this this is what it says in game it says sync for view and progress and then it's sync done after you've done this go ahead and restart your server so we'll go ahead and restart it so to give everything a new refresh after we have created this live map so right so we have restarted the world and uh, basically it does take quite a bit a while for uh, your live map to generate uh, the 3d model on that URL that you click so I suggest waiting up to three to four hours so if you do it right away and it's a blank page then it's fine it's it's trying to load the new map so just to let you guys know it does take up to three to four hours give it at least three to four hours to generate uh, depending on your world size it might take a little bit longer but I'm just trying to fly around generate the chunks that I want and hopefully we can uh, get it generating sooner than later but yeah it does take quite a while my suggestion is uh, after you get your generated URL just have that open on your browser just keep it open uh, just don't do anything to it just let it load on your browser so yeah if you're not doing anything or, or working on your server just have it loading in the background so hopefully it can generate a little faster but hopefully we can get a picture of what it looks like uh, in a few hours so I'll see you guys then Alright, so here we are about two-ish hours later. Make sure to go ahead and copy this URL and uh, make a new tab. So I've let this sit for about two hours. When you first do it, all you're going to see is this grayish-blue screen. And then so I've let it load for about two hours, refresh the page. And as you see, there's a little small chunk uh, that you remember from last clip that we flew around. And uh, we got this little chunk to load on the live map, So which is absolutely amazing. One thing 
thing I love about this, good and bad, is that it doesn't show where you are when you join the server. It doesn't show where you're at, so players can't come and attack you. I really like that about uh, this live map. One thing about your mouse, as you see down here in the bottom right-hand corner, your cords. So, say you are you spawn over here in this uh, swamp and you want to go over here to this cave. Just go ahead and hover over your mouse and you can get the cords and walk on over to that cave. And it looks so cool with the 3D, guys. It, it, it looks amazing. Make sure you guys definitely recommend you guys pick this up. This is a cool addition to uh, Minecraft Hosting Not Pro because it is very cool, especially if you're running some sort of survival server and you have enough money to uh, get this edition definitely recommend it it is extremely cool and look at that tree <laughs> so it looks so neat like for real it looks so cool uh, so this wraps up about the video hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hopefully it was informative for you and uh, just let this load for about uh, two to three to four hours depending on the size of your map and how many chunks you have loaded actually in game and leave a like, have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.